Nintendo just had the Nintendo Direct, and I'm going to talk about all the games and trailers they showed off. And first up, we have Mario Luigi Brothership. It is a two-player co-op game, kind of like It Takes Two, where it does take two people to play the game. And I'm a big fan of the art style. It is super colorful, and it's going to age very well. Like, this game is still going to look good in 10 years. And if you're interested in picking it up, it'll be out November 7th of this year. And next up, we have Nintendo World Champion to NES Edition. Now, this confused me when I first saw it, because they really didn't explain what it was super well. But basically, it's a speedrunning game. And there are 13 different games that you can speedrun in, and you can compete with yourself or with leaderboards or with multiplayer with split screen now the multiplayer is not real time it is ghost data but still it's pretty cool and if you're interested in picking this up it comes out july 18th and next up we have fairy tale 2 and i really don't have any comment about this game i watched the anime it was very very average parts of me regrets watching it but if you're interested in this game it comes out this winter and next up we have fantasia neo dimension this is a turn-based rpg and i have very mixed opinions about the art style sometimes it looks pretty good and in other shots i think it looks kind of bad that could just be me though i'm sure there's an audience for this game it's just not me but if you're interested in it it should be coming out this holiday season and next up we have a free basketball update for switch sports and yeah that's it it's basketball it's free and it has two on two multiplayer and it's coming out this summer and next up we have mio and memories orbit now there wasn't much info about this game it was really just a trailer and nothing else it's a side scroller and i'm a huge fan of the art direction it's just a really pretty game but that's pretty much all i have to say about it right now because that's all we were really shown but it's supposed to release sometime next year and next up we have hello kitty island adventure this game is a time nintendo switch exclusive and honestly it just looks like an animal crossing skin i'm sure someone wants this game but it's not me and it's supposed to come out in 2025 and it's also releasing on pc and next up we have looney tunes wacky world of sports this looks like it could be good it reminds me a lot of the old mario sports games i might get it at some point especially if it's on pc but if it's not on pc i don't know probably not we'll see it comes out sometime this fall and next up for those of you who still play among us there's a free update there's new crewmate roles tracker and noisemaker which are pretty self-explanatory and one new imposter role the phantom role which makes you a ghost. And at this point, Among Us is just Town of Salem, but a little worse. But if you're interested in this update, it comes out today. And next up, we have Farmagia. And this game looks weird. I am not a fan of the graphics at all. It looks just kind of bad. And the game definitely looks unique. You fight with like dozens of monsters instead of just one, which is kind of cool. Someone who watched this is definitely interested in this. It's just not me. And if the person is you, it comes out November 1st of this year. And next up, we have Donkey Kong Country Returns HD, a remaster of the old version on the Wii and 3DS. This game is a side scroller where you play as Donkey Kong. That's pretty much the whole game. And it comes out January 16th of 2025. And next up, we have the game I see in every Nintendo Direct, even though I don't know a single person who plays it, Dragon Quest. And they revealed the Dragon Quest 1 through 3 HD 2D remake. Yeah, that's a mouthful. I have zero interest in this game, but if you're someone who does play this game, this is probably exciting for you. Congratulations, I guess. Or maybe I'm sorry, because they might have ruined something and I can't tell because I don't play the game. The Dragon Quest 3 remake will be coming out November 14th of this year, and 1 and 2 will be coming out sometime next year. And next up, we have Funko fusion and this game is a crime i did not know this existed and i was happy before i knew this existed but this game this game looks horrible and yes i'm biased okay i hate these things these things are ugly look at them look at their dead beady eyes do you see anything in there no their soul is crap and this game also looks like junk it looks like unity slop but if you're interested in this game i'm not giving you the release date go find it yourself you freak and next up we have luigi's mansion 2 hd this is a remaster of luigi's mansion 2 if you play the game before you, you probably know if you want this or not and if you haven't basically you play as luigi and you have to catch the ghost it's kind of like ghostbusters and it comes out june 27 and next that we hit the new Denpa men i have no idea what this is it's free to play it looks interesting kind of reminds me of pikmin but it looks like you collect people and you run around and you do stuff it's a really weird looking game in a good way and this comes out july 22nd and it's a timed exclusive for the switch and next up we have metal slug attack reloaded and this game looks cool i don't know anything about it though because they didn't explain anything but it comes out today if you're interested and next up, we have Darkest Dungeon 2, which is a roguelike turn-based combat game. It's pretty good. It's been out on other platforms for a while, but it comes to the Switch on July 15th. And next up, we have Phantom Braid, The Lost Hero. And I don't care about this game, but it comes out next year if you do. And next up, we have X-Men vs. Street Fighter and Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and The Punisher and more. All of those are coming out sometime this year. And next up, we have Super Mario Party Jamboree. Now, this looks pretty good. There's not only a bunch of new maps. There's also a new mode, a 20-player online multiplayer mode, which sounds super fun. The game is probably still rigged, so whoever's the worst at playing is probably still going to always win. But still, a 20-player online mode sounds pretty good. And they also kept referring to it as the biggest Mario Party in the series history. And it comes out October 17th, 2024. And next up, we have The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. And this game looks sick. This this game actually looks super fun so first off link is dead not really he's stuck in a hole somewhere so in this game you play as zelda and zelda can create echo which basically just means duplicate item and you can also create echoes of monsters so the way you play this game is
is by duplicating items and monsters to do whatever you need to do, which is super cool. This is a super cool game concept, and I am actually really excited for this game, and I am definitely going to be playing it. And if you're also interested, it comes out September 26th of this year. And there's also a custom Nintendo Switch Lite if you want that. And next up, we have LEGO Horizon Adventures, which is coming out in the holidays of this year. And also Tales of Shrine are coming out in the holidays, which is a Hobbit game where you play as a Hobbit and you customize your little Hobbit house. And then also Ace Attorney spinoff games coming out this holiday. And the next two games, I totally skipped because I had no interest. But then they revealed a new Metroid game, Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. This game is first person and it looks a little bit dated, but it doesn't look bad. It reminds me a lot of Doom. And I know Metroid fans have been waiting for this for a while, so I hope it's what you wanted. And it comes out sometime in 2025. But that's been the video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Like and subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter, AdsFans1. And click the other to check out more of my content and have a good one.